All right, now we're going to look at another book. Because that one went by really quick. We're going to look at Freshness. I'm going to keep it on the same map, even though Phoenixion probably would be better. But let's look at Freshness. This is another fire book. Uh, it does use neutral with Bandit. It's got a couple other nasty little tricks up its sleeve that makes this book incredibly strong. So first, let's look at the creatures. Let's go to Bandit. Bandit is a support creature. It's a 2020, and it has a bonus attack with this with its on top of being support. Whatever damage it deals to opponent, you times that by two and you steal that magic from them. Now, it doesn't really sound like a lot. Okay, I do 20 damage, I gain, you know, 40 magic. What a support creature is, is a regular creature can use items like, you know, Eagle Rapier or the Fire Shields that you saw before. You know, this is attack versus 30 plus 30 strength. So that with the bandit, I think he can use that, can he? Some can't, he can. So his attack would be 50, so you steal 100. You know, stuff like Ares is 50 strength, as you can see in the bottom. This is 40 strength. You add that to Bandit, and whatever its total attack is, times that by 2, that's how much magic you steal. Great little, great little card. Especially if they're going to attack you. You have Eagle Rapier. You attack first and do 50 damage, because so even if you lose the land, gain 50 magic right off the bat. This book is highly aggressive, and you need Ares. It needs to have you need to have two fire land. That's what the 90 plus and a two fire symbol means. It means you have to own two fire territories before you can even place him. And it has a boost. It adds 20 strength to all invading creatures. So if there's an Ares down and you use a bandit, and let's say you support it with Elpyron. So the bandit's going to do 90 damage plus the 20 from Ares. There's 110. You know, double that. There's your mana stealing. Okay. Now, just note that the plus 20 strength to invading creatures also applies to enemies invading you. Avenger. This book is... This card, I should say, would probably be really great in a four-player game. Because... In battle, its strength and HP is plus your current standing times 10. Current standing is, and you're going to see it in, in Revolt 2, is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or 4th place as to where you are, you know, magic-wise. You know, cards like Gift. It's 100 magic, you gain 50 magic, and you draw a card for what your standing is. So if you're at the bottom if you're in fourth you know like this dude's gonna get plus 40 HP and plus 40 strength then the plus 20 from Ares then any item you use usually I mean if you're in the lead he's a 50 50 but if you're not he'll be a 60 60 because your current standing will be second place so that's two barbarian like you saw before it's immediate creature so you can change the land, so if you're on neutral, you can change the land for 100 magic to fire, or you can also move him, which is great because if you go past an enemy, and you're for sure you can beat it, place down Barbarian, move him onto that, one and done. Coloid. In battle, its strength and HP is equal to number of your fire territories, times 10 and if this so that's added so it's 30 plus you know if you had five fire lands it's 30 plus 50 so it would become an 80 80 in battle and also you gain number of fire territories possessed so possess means what you own okay times 50 magic if destroyed in battle by a spell or territory ability. So if somebody were to 
destroy this and you had 10 land, 10 fire land out that you owned, you would gain 500 magic from destroying it. AI is not so smart, they probably would destroy it. Okay, Hell Pirate. Territory 30. You gain number of creatures destroyed thus far times 50 magic. Then the number is reset. And it boosts strength to all fire and earth creatures by 10. Well, plus 10. Okay, so if you were to destroy, you know, 6 creatures so far and use that ability, you would gain 300 mana. And then they reset that number back to zero. Shaharazard. Uh, it's a support creature, so like Bandit, you can put like a colloid with it instead of using an item. And the territory ability is clear all scepters of enchanting effects. So if somebody were to put, uh, say Holy Word Zero. Uh, or even actually if, if somebody were to put something good on them, like Hunter's Song, which you're going to see soon, or, you know, any of those great song cards, or even if they put, like, um, Sinking Song, which I think you do half damage, you know, you can clear yourself of any of them. You have Volcanic Dragon. Volcanic Dragon is kind of nasty. It attacks first, it neutralizes fire, and in battle... It'll perform a scroll attack of its base strength value if not equipped with an item. Cards like, even though it's not here, but cards like Counter Amulet wouldn't work against Volcanic Dragon. If you were to. Like, if Volcanic Dragon were to not use an item and you were going to try to use Counter Amulet, well, Counter Amulet can't block scroll attacks and its attack would become scroll. So these, these are things you have to worry about, like, if your opponent does have Counter Amulet or something that can neutralize a regular attack, don't add an item. You attack first, you do 60 damage, and that 60 damage is scroll, and they can't neutralize it. Counter Amulet, like you saw, you can neutralize all, or reflect all non-scroll attacks. Kind of like the Fire Shield, but it reflects it back. Great for stopping pesky things like death, or like the cockatrice, or any of those other cards that can transform your creatures, add status effects. Great for that. Eagle Rapier. You attack first, and you your strength is uh, plus thirty. So you know something like like if you were going to use Holoid. You know, now you can attack first, add 30, and then whatever your territories are, you get that bonus. Gremlin Tooth. Battle start. Destroys opponent armor, tool, or supporting creature. If you know somebody has an armor, and let's say... Let's say you attack them, and you know your Volcanic Dragon could defeat it. But maybe they have an armor that's going to give them enough HP to get rid of it. Use Gremlin Tooth. But also note, it does it to supporting creatures, too. So if you're going against a support book, like if you're going to go against another Scheherazade, you know, and she tries to put Ares on her as an item, you can destroy it. Okay, that card comes incredibly handy. Chariot. Kind of useful for two reasons. One, if you are within two squares of a fire land, with a creature, you can move that creature there. You can also force your one of your creatures to invade. The reason why that's important is going to be shown pretty soon. Uh, drain magic, you steal 30% of target enemy scepter's magic. This card is incredibly helpful in later rounds. It can also help you early on, but later rounds it is incredibly helpful. Find draw a card, adds find. And remember, any card that says add find, even if you're... even if you only had one of these in here, normally in card games, you would discard the card after you use it. 
What Find does is after you discard the card, it magically pulls a find out of your book and back into your hand. That's one of the greatest things about these these add blank to hand, like refuge. Add refuge back to hand. Or add to hand. This is what I was talking about that's going to help you with Hellpyron, uh, with Chariot, and that is Hunter's Song. You gain 200 magic for every creature the target's out there. It's 200 magic for every creature they destroy in battle for four rounds. How this comes important is, let's say you have, let's say you land on an enemy creature, and you hit it with Barbarian. You play Barbarian down. Remember, he's immediate. So after you defeat the creature and Barbarian is successful, you can move Barbarian. So then you can move Barbarian onto the next enemy creature. And destroy those two creatures. There's 400 magic right there. No... Remember, you're Hell Pirates, so there's two creatures already gone. And depending on how many you have destroyed or how many you can destroy, once you can use its ability, you can be gaining quite a bit of magic from that. Then you also have Intrusion. Intrusion is a little expensive, it's about 200, it's 180 magic. And you invade target enemy territory with creature that has no summoning conditions. Which is basically Avenger. Basically anything that says um, plus whatever. So 90 plus fire fire, that's a requirement, you can't use it. Colloid, you can't use it. Uh, Hell Pyron, you know, you have to get rid of two fire and discard a card, you can't use it. Same with that, so basically Barbarian. Or Avenger. Uh, one of the greatest things is, is let's say you use Intrusion and then you roll and then you land on a creature and you destroy with barbarian then you move barbarian okay so in that one turn you just destroyed three creatures earned yourself 600 mana and when you get to hell pyron even if you use it right away that's an additional 150 mana it's a lot of mana really quickly just one turn Um, land protection. Target enemy, uh, target territory cannot be targeted by spells or territory ability, except those that dispel enchantments. You know, this is going to be great for protecting, you know, your big heavy hitters, like Colloid on a fire land. Especially when there's a lot of fire lands you own. Uh, Volcanic Dragon, like they can't put a disease on that, like disease or um, illness, no bulimia, no uh, senility, which senility is the worst one you can run into. It basically what it is is instant death. At the end of battle your creature dies, no matter what. No, land protection will protect from that. Paralyzer. Uh, and paralysis target creature and double cast. Paralysis means they can't attack you. So, if you if you land on a big land and you know like that card has first attack and if that attacks me I'm done but I can defeat it like uh, if you gave Death Scythe Death Scythe which is seventy twenty creature Eagle Rapier it's looking like a hundred attack creature that attacks first you know that thing would destroy almost anything quickly. Paralyzing it, it can't attack. So it does make things a little easier. Next card we have is Replace. Replace is really, really amazing. Because it breaks the requirements for creatures. It exchanges target creature with another creature from its owner's hand. You can replace a bandit with a hell pirate. You can replace, you know, Avenger with Volcanic Dragon, or Barbarian with Colloid. It breaks through that requirement, and it's so nice. 
Telegnosis again. Enlightenment, it acts like a, a mobile uh, castle or tower. And finally, Trespass. When you use Trespass, you give yourself an enchantment. And that enchantment is, is whenever other scepters receive a lap bonus, you gain magic equal to that bonus. So if you know an enemy is you know, a couple squares away from landing on the castle or going past the castle, use Trespass, so when they go past it, let's say they're gonna gain 250 mana. You'll gain that 250 as well. Alright, so this is Freshness. It's completely different from Magma, and we're going to run this right now. Go grab Freshness against Mr. Gorgeous over here. Let's see how things go. I've actually never run this book before. It's your turn. Alright, that's bad. I don't have any fire creatures. Well, any fire creatures that I can use right away. I want to go this way. What you putting down? Nothing. Okay. It's your turn. Well, I'm gonna have to discard something next turn. Aim for the next port. It's your turn. Alright, I'm going to get rid of Eagle Rapier. Land on here so I can draw a creature. Yes! Alright, cool. Got Avenger. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of Paralyzer for right now. Discard a card. It's your turn. Get rid of you. Discard a card. I'm gonna put him on down on green, even though technically I kinda need Fireland. Discard a card. I just don't want to discard any more cards. Okay, you're giving him minus ten. Shriek. Follow the guidance of the cards. It's your turn. Aim for the castle. Discard a card. Brain magic is kind of not really worth it too much. Oh, now it kind of is. Squeeze. It's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna Discard get ready to you. Hit him with Drain Magic. Give me that 30%. Hopefully I can get something else like a Barbarian or a Bandit. Or Avenger because he can go down too. That's fine. use telegnosis because I think I'm probably going to pass the fort. And even if I don't, I can still use it. Aim for the next fort. Yes, I'm going to go this way. So now I can use you and move you there. Awesome. Now we own a fire and land. Shrink. Personally, I don't care about that one anyway. It's your turn. 
Alright, so... I could hit you. But I don't know what item you have, so I'd better wait. Alright, you have Comet, and you can do plus 40. But actually, you know what? You can't do plus 40 because... Creature. Discard a card. Um, it'll be the same color. It's kind of risky. Put you there. You can use a creature. It's your turn. Paralyze it. Paralyze you. You may cast a spell again. Aim for the castle. Terrain change you to fire. That cost a bit to, to change it to fire, but now if I get something good, I can use Ares. You know, place Ares down. It's your turn. Oof. Alright, so that's gonna give me not a lot of room. You know, 40. That creature alone is... Okay, so wait. You're 40 HP, not including any boosts, so let's say you go up 90. I can do 80? Oh wait, no. I can destroy your supporting creature. So how much do I need for this whole combo? So I'm gonna need 190, which does not leave me a lot. <laughs> I don't have enough. Not yet, anyway. Once I pass that that castle, then I do. Gift. Ah, you attacking? You suck. Versus. All right, I'm gonna have to use my item. Battle. Let us reflect. Alright, I'm gonna use Hunter Song. Hunter's Song. Which will give me 200 magic every creature I defeat. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Ooh. This way, buddy. Intrusion on you? Oh, I can't use Intrusion on you? Oh, right. It has to have no summoning conditions. Give me one moment. Aim for the next fort. Right, right, right. Oh, never mind. My intrusions are gone. Forgot about his ray of law. Oh, even better. 
Um, 40, 50, 90. Will you use Prismatic Wand on it? That's the question. Actually, no matter what, even if I don't defeat you, I'm still going to steal your magic. So it's worth it. Ben versus fate. Because I'm still going to do 20 damage. Or I'm going to do whatever damage. Prepare so... What do I do? I use Ares. I'm gonna not use Ares. I wouldn't have defeated it anyway. But I'm gonna steal 100 magic from me. Even though my creature's destroyed, it was so worth it. The defense withstood the attack. It's your turn. So it kind of sucks that the, uh, Hunter's song wasn't going to work because I got my intrusions destroyed. What do I have in my hand? Uh, uh. I can do anything right now. I see that combo and I don't like it. Lunatic hair and then uh, ring of the succubus. It's your turn. Hunter's Give me Hunter's song again. Maybe I can get to it. Territory. Creature exchange. Shahazad. Let's see what happens next. It's your turn. Aim for the castle. Alright, let us put Avenger down. Discard Yay! <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. Ah, uh, crap, of course. Let's get rid of this. It was kind of worth it. It was only 10 magic to see if I could even land on any of this stuff. Creature exchange for Ares. Cause I think I still have Hunter Song next turn. Discard a card. I might be able to take it out. I don't know. You a Good luck on your next journey. Do I still have Hunter Song on? No. Okay. What are you? You're sixty. I can hit you for sixty. And destroy any armor, tool, or supporting creature you use. Intrusion. Can use that, yes. Let's go steal your land. Because this is a supporting creature, called Dryad, so it can use a creature as an item. Fortunately for it, I am going to destroy anything it uses. 
Never mind. It was still worth it. Even even though it didn't work. Still totally worth it. Aim for the next fort. Aim for the next fort. It's your turn. A strong card. Fine. Not do anything just yet. Discard a card. Spirit walk. Oh, you got rid of the paralysis. It's your turn. Follow All right, cool. I wanted speech. another item. There we go. so I can reflect any damage he tries to send my way. It kind of sucks that Bolt Hunter song failed, but eh. Oh, nice. We're going to get rid of one of these Shahrazads. All right. Aim for the castle. Ooh, actually. Oh, that's right. Dang, it's probably high. Reach your movement here. Discard a card. All right, cool. So there went that. I don't have to worry about it. It's your turn. Discard a um. card. 40 HP, you have a creature, and... That was... I'm gonna get rid of one of the barbarians right now. I'm going to put the other barbarian or Arizona. Put the other barbarian here. I'm not gonna do anything with lands right now. Aim for the castle. You've stopped. It's your turn. Put that down. Roll three. You've stopped in enemy territory. Herald spirit versus. I'm gonna have to reflect. Prepare for battle. Ooh, that's nice. You do, uh, 70 damage and penetrate. Not penetrating anything, but okay. The creature is destroyed. The defense withstood the attack. It's your turn. Your HP is, wait, what is it? 70. Now it's 90. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. 
All right, now it's time to start kicking it up. It's your turn. Place you with you. Aim for the next port. You can do forty damage. How this goes. Versus Sherazar. Prepare for battle. All right, so now I own this land. Time to time to start taking back my stuff. Or, well, it's all mine. Alright, let's see what happens here. Squeeze. Aim for the next port. It's your turn. I mean, I, I probably should have used the Hunter Song, but <clears throat> I didn't know I'd be there. It's like that's 50. If I land on that, or I think that little dude down there, I think I could take him out too. Yeah, because you're only 40 HP. Wait, what do I have? Yeah, I can nail you for 80. We're going to put little Mr. Avenger over here. What do you have item-wise? All you have is, any, is stuff for attacking. We're done. Because I can Chariot Avenger... Do you? Chariot. Send you this way. Now remember, Hunter Song is in play, so now you get to actually see what it does. Avenger versus Fate. Prepare for battle. So Avenger's gonna get plus 10 for me being in first place. He's get the 20 area boost and he gets the plus 10 for Hellpyron. 200 magic. And that's before I even roll my die. Like that's how Chariot can really help with this. You know, same with Intrusion. Unfortunately, both my Intrusions got destroyed. And Chariot goes back into your book. And look at this, I landed on his thing. Okay, now I have an option here. And I might go for it. Which is, I can do Bandit plus Avenger. Which is going to be 60 strength plus an additional 60 from Ares. Which is 80. So I, I can do... It's probably better with Bandit because I can steal it from them as well. Although, technically, I could, if I use Ares, I'm going to use Ares, because Ares can't be placed on a blue land. Next creature after this is also blue.
So I'm gonna do 90. I'm gonna take 180 ma magic, stealing it from him, and I gain an additional 200 magic. Now this is how Bandit plus Hunter Song can really hurt your enemy. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna lose my Sherazad. Prepare for battle. Because she's going to attack. All right, the mu so she's gonna get 60, 70 attack at the least. Right. Well, actually, I think her thing is 40, 60, 70. She's gonna do 90. Yeah, I can't attack from that. Oh, she did penetrate. <laughs> nice. It'd be fine. The offense vanquished the enemy. It's actually nice having Hunter Song that actually worked. It's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna use Trespass. Wait, what is this thing? 30 and under? Okay, I don't have to worry. I'm gonna use... Uh... No, I'm gonna use Find. Trespass is nice, but it might take him more than two rounds. Let's get an item. Good. I can reflect. So, here's something I can do. That's going to be 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. No. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80 attack. You have 40 HP. Let's try it. Let's move him over here. And I still have Hunter Song on, so if I can actually destroy it... I'll gain another 200 magic for that. Prepare for battle. All right. The offense vanquished the enemy. I'll just love you up to level two. Now this is where I'm gonna use It's your turn. Uh trespass. Trespass. So you have 40... It's worth a shot. So I'm gonna do quite a bit, so he's gonna have to use a creature. Does not to, okay. Remember, my help pyron's still in play, which means when I go past it, I'm gonna gain magic for each destroyed creature thus far in the game. You received a reward. 
So I gained another 490, because that's what he gained. Kinda nice. What do you do? 60 HP. Let's, let's go for it. Actually, whoa, wait a minute. What do I own? So, this is going to do 60 damage on top of everything. So that's 60 strength, not including the... Plus 30 boost. Okay, got it. That's right, I get an additional plus 10 strength because I have a Jason creature. The We're getting there. The and it gets recycled back to blue. Territory, territory, territory. Um, let's change this territory. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to change. I'm going to use his ability to automatically give me mana. Five hundred magic for all the creatures destroyed thus far. I think it's fifty magic per creature. So I think that was ten creatures that have been destroyed. All right, what can you do? I have something. Oh, we're reflecting that back. You didn't do what I thought you were going to do, but hey! And remember, even though he's Ares, and he does uh, plus 20 attack things, just to let you know, you can't use it on yourself. And same thing with, like, if you have defending creatures, can't, you know, defend. It's weird. Oh, what I mean is, like, cards like Poseidon, which give plus 20 HP to defending creatures, Poseidon doesn't give it to himself. It's your turn. Let's draw another card. Fine. And once I reach the castle, the game will be over. We will have won. Discard a card. Aim for the next port. You've stopped in your own territory. It's your turn. Cherry. Yeah, it's not even worth it. We won. You a no. Good luck on your next. You stopped in your own. Oh, territory. damn. Support thirty attack. Um. Wow. That sucked. I thought I would have enough. So we have 30. Um... Oh, wait, that's mine, isn't it? Uh, never mind. I'm going to train change that to fire. I was getting ready to attack and I'm like, wait a minute, that's mine! I ain't gotta do shit. Discard a car. It's your turn. Discard a car. We will discard this and 
paralyze you. Paralyze you. You may cast a spell. That's right, paralyze has double cast. Chariot. I don't want to give them plus 20 attack right now. Give him plus twenty attack. Oh, never mind. Took to paralyze off. You may cast a spell again. You've stopped in enemy territory. So Probably gonna lose this. Versus Avenger. Prepare for battle. Oh yeah, you're gonna use an item archer. Yep. Screwed. You have no creatures. Thank you for the mana. You also have to get rid of something. Insufficient magic power. It's your turn. Discard a card. I'm going to discard um find and use trespass. Trespass. Because you're gonna pass the castle and I'm gonna get your bonus as well. I'm going to place down Zebabarian. We're going to level him up to level four. Ooh, I gained 500 magic from that. Damn! I need to be at six. Oh, yeah, we won. Seventy five hundred. You uh. in your own territory. Twenty change has a fire as well. That's another thing you need to know is as you level up lands, changing them, changing their land, the value also increases. That costs five hundred. The stock land only cost uh, three hundred for stock level one land. If it's level 1 neutral or level 1 multi, it's also just 1. Sure, I'll use Ares. I think I lost anyway. Oh no. Not only did I not lose, I actually destroyed your creature in the process. Although you did quite a bit of damage. The defense withstood the 
So this is basically it's your turn. a really bad play of freshness. No! Creature ability. Oh, again, 150 magic, but I guess we go next time. Uh, this this book freshness is probably best on smaller maps and or Phoenixian. That's probably the biggest multi map. That's the best. You have achieved the goal. You know the problem with this with this book is oh nice. I need three shapeshifters. Now I have two. It took me forever to get that second one. I'm so happy about that. There's a book that I want to showcase, but I need three shapeshifters. I only need one more, and that book will be ready. Okay, uh, so that was freshness. So far we did magma before, and we just did freshness. They're two totally separate books. Depending on the maps you use, one will always be better than the other. Now, if the map is too big, freshness is probably going to struggle. Because certain maps, like the, mag like the Magma, put it on small maps, it can't get cards out quick enough. They cost a lot. Same with Freshness. Okay. Maybe, maybe if you wanted to use this on, you know, Colosseum 2 or any bigger map, maybe add uh, Gold Idols. And Gold Idols allow you to wave... Mana plus whatever Basically makes it so Only gold is counted You don't need lands and you don't need To discard a card like Hell Pyron Okay What would you remove for that? I don't know I really have no clue um, you know, Maybe you can experiment Take out one bandit, only use two Put in one uh, Gold idol You know, defensive global ability requirements for summoning creatures of the magic cost are ignored. You know, that is an option, but otherwise, this is freshness. It's really great on small to medium maps, larger maps. It's, larger maps is probably going to get outclassed by cards that can put a lot of creatures down quickly. Same thing with magma. Magma suffers from the same thing. If you're on bigger maps, and you're going against a book that can place a lot of creatures down quickly, you can get outrun. Because even though these books are strong, and these books can really pack a punch, like you saw when I had Hunter Song actually work. You know, Hunter Song charioting over to one creature, destroying it, landing on another one, destroying it, chari charioting again to another creature, destroying that, you know. In two turns, you just gained 600 mana. Okay, but using chariot each time, you know that's a that's a hundred magic for those two. Placing him down, that was another uh, hundred. To that there was 200. I mean, it, it costs some. Get it back. It's great. If you fail, eh, not so much. Then if you have to use items, you know that's going to cost even more. But yeah, that is Freshness. Other books we're going to be looking at in the future is Help and Hand and Give and Take. Uh, we're probably going to be looking at Help and Hand next because I Need to Learn Give and Take it is slightly convoluted in a sense. There's a, it, It's not really confusing per se, there's just a lot of stuff in there and each thing can do like each card can interact with, with another card pretty well, and there's some combos that I know are in here I've just never done before, so I'm going to be taking some time looking at that. The next stream is going to be Monday night. I'm going to try to keep this every other day, doing Cold Sep book toolkits, you know, showing people how to play certain books like Magma, 
and Freshness, which are two of the best books. Well, I should say two of the best fire books. I don't know if they're the best overall, but these are two of the best fire books. Okay, Magma, like like you saw, that really packs a punch with the Magma armors out and the Avatars and the Jack-o'-lanterns and you know, this book just really dominates, especially like I said, if you're going against Powder Eater books, like I did the Healthy Eater showcase, you know, if they have 20 creatures, right? Well, now they're losing 400 magic, and you actually steal that from the opponent. That's not like how certain cards you just gain it. Like in Stop and Pay, Gelatinous Wall, whatever damage you receive, if Gelatinous Wall survives, you gain that magic. You know, cards like Bandit, they steal that from the from the opponent. Same, you know, when you're running Magma, that's the exact same when you use Land Drain. And the same with Jack-o'-lantern. You know, you steal that magic from the opponent. And you can come into a point where your opponent attacks you. Or even if they don't, let's say you use Land Drain. You can literally drain them so badly that they're bankrupt and they have to you know, start sacrificing land just because of one card. So again, I just want to say to Furby, thank you for the follow, which I was kind of confused because I thought you were before. Um, Hellsythe, again, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you for coming here and hanging out. The new Cold Stuff game is coming out on October 3rd. I will be doing a unboxing because I bought the limited edition. I don't know when I'm getting it because I did have Prime, but because I lost my job, there went Prime. So I don't know if I still get uh, shipped to me at the same day anymore. We'll find out. But whenever I get it, I'll be doing an unboxing video, and then after that, whenever I can get things set up, I'm going to be streaming Cult of the Revolt. We will still be doing Cult of Saga. Cult of the Revolt, however, um, I won't be doing any farming off stream. Everything will be done on stream. The reason is, is as you can tell, when you play a game in Cults of Saga, or any Cults set before Revolt, you earn cards when you beat the, that match. They changed it. You now get what's known as GP, I'm guessing gold points. It's technically G in here is mana or gold. And now they have booster packs. You know, similar to like if you played um, like any of the Yu-Gi-Oh games on PSP, how you can Go to the card shop, after you beat people, you gain GP, you can buy card packs. They now introduce card packs in Revolt. From what I've seen playing Japanese version, and from what I've been told by Japanese players, is that the RNG is so much easier in Revolt buying it from packs. Because there's different types of packs. Like, we were playing on... Let me, let me just totally exit out, I'll show you a map. Let's load into here. Let's go to past stages. Alright, this is a primarily green map. Tell also by the outcropping, it's kind of like a, a temple forest area. This, certain maps drop certain cards. This map, for instance, drops more earth creatures. This one, Phoenixian, drops more fire creatures. I'm still needing one more Hive Queen. Give it to me, game. Uh, this one, Blue Mirror, drops more water creatures. Batuan drops more air creatures. You know, these lands, certain things drop more cards than the others. Um. And 
And what sucks is, like, you could spend hours and hours on Benixion and not get anything. I literally spent five hours farming this map. I was doing quick farms, so I was going through map... I was going through games in, like, a couple minutes at a time. Quick farms are kind of boring, trust me, but... You basically play yourself. Just so I can farm. Annoying, but I probably went through like 40 or 50 matches, and I only got one or two hive queens. Actually, no, one queen that day, and another queen the next day. Okay, out of 40 or 50 matches, only one. Whereas you can buy booster packs, and you know, if you know you're going after certain cards, you know, you can see, okay, you know. This card's rare, they have rare packs. Buy the rare packs. I now have a better chance of getting this card in packs than you do in any other Colsef game. So that's gonna cut farming down a little bit. Like, you can tell I've already done 27 story episodes, okay? This is now the third or fourth video not story related that I'm doing. Which is book toolkits, which also means I'm earning cards. And I've been farming tons. And I'm still getting cards that I need. Okay, and it takes a lot. Um, in Cult of the Rebolt, you're probably looking at about 10 to 20 hours to get 1 to 2 of everything. And maybe like 40 hours of getting 4. 40 plus but basically maybe I'll, I'll even cut that down a little bit I'll say probably 10 hours to get one of every I'll be generous okay depending on depending on how much you play how much you grind um, how quick like how good your luck has been with setting up books to farm let's say you know within 10 hours you might be able to get one of every card it could take you even longer. Like me, it's probably going to take longer. Because I'm only going to be doing the on stream. But we'll see how that goes. So again, the next stream is going to be... Uh, like I said, Monday night. Because I want to spend about a day between streams. Farming for cards. Trying to get books up. You know, this is Alter of Blessing. This does not look like fun. I'm probably going to want a uh, book with more speed in it. Like a book with haste or multiple copies of haste and multiple copies of Holy Word 8 or whatever. But again, I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you would like to learn more about Cold Seth, you can go to coldsethcentral.com. It is the largest Cold Seth website. It has information on every single Cold Set game there is, both past and future, with Revolt coming out next month. You can find not only, you know, player books, like you'll find Magma and Freshness there, you know, typed out and has its own little guide with it. You can also find out what decks or books certain AI use. Like, I know who's next. And that is Saphius, the High Priest. I can look online and, and see what book he uses. And I can determine from there, okay, you know, what book would better counter his book. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to probably beat him with something. Probably Bow Greed or, or something, I don't know. But you can find information about that. You can see player galleries. You can see images, you can download soundtracks, uh, all the music to all these games. Except for, I think, Holtsep 3DS, the first 3DS version that came out, I think that's the only one nobody has uh, sound for right now. But yeah, you can find so much information, and if you need more information, you can join the Discord where I, along with many others, are there a lot. I'm on Discord all the time. 
fact, I need to actually link my Discord here. Because all of the information on books and combos I'm going to be putting in that Discord. But that's probably going to be a little bit later, probably closer to when Reroll comes out. But yes. Again, the streams are going to be coming back uh, every other day, hopefully, because I did a lot of farming these past three or four days. I've literally been have been farming. All, I've been watching Mash and farming Cold Set. That's literally what I've been doing. There, there was a couple days where I was just sore and tired, and uh, like there there was one day I was going to stream. I actually had enough to do. I forgot what book it was. Um, I think it's a Necro, which is not made yet, but I was going to stream, got hit with heartburn and, um, an annoying headache, and my arm was, was sore from the day before, from cutting down a tree and removing eight bushes. I wasn't planning on removing eight bushes, I was told I was trimming eight bushes, and then removed the two end ones, and then after that... After I got that done, they were like, okay, now remove the other bushes. It's like, I just trimmed it. Uh. But yeah, I've, I've been farming, trying to get the cards needed to do these book toolkits so I can teach people before Revolt comes out. And when Revolt comes out, um, again, we're going to be doing story mode and book toolkits whenever I have the cards needed. I have a couple books book ideas of my own that I've already made. One is a particularly nasty one, involving goblins and powder eater. We'll go into more detail once I can run that book in Rebolt. So again, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for interacting. Furby and Hellsythe again, thank you for the follow, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.